program, context of white supremacy, um, I have unfortunately concluded that we are in a global system of racism, white supremacy. Uh, I use those two terms as synonyms. I use the same definition for both terms. Uh, that definition is as follows. A global system of people who classify themselves as white and are dedicated to abusing and or subjugating everyone in the known universe whom they classify as not white. Uh, do you believe that such a system exists and do you think that definition is accurate? Well, I believe that, that the definition is definitely there. And to, to add to the concept is I'd like to go a little bit deeper and get into why that exists. And the reason why that exists, because of scholars such as Neely Fuller and uh, Dr. Francis Chris Welsey, we understand that there's, there, there are twin e principalities of evil at work. Number one is a fear, a fear of genetic annihilation. And two, because of this fear, they have generated a sense of insecurity and inferiority and in their arrogant ignorance they have attempted to put together a system that will ensure that they will have a place in the cosmic universe where there is no place for them for they are an accident they are not a mutation they are mutants. They are mutations of a mutant. And it's important for us to understand scientifically what happened to African peoples when they ventured outside of the Garden of Eden, which is the equatorial belt of Africa. And in so doing, and in understanding why this concept of white supremacy exists, we as a people, a cosmic people, see, people, what we may call white or of European descent, they are not a cosmic people. They were not born within the archetype of the human being. In other words, Dr. Richard King and other melanists, Dr. Francis Chris Welsing herself and Carol Barnes and she owns more. I could go through the list. What they have developed is an understanding of the role of melanin. The presence of it, the absence of it. What happens when it's present, what happens when it's absent. Not just as it relates to skin melanin, but what happens as it relates to neuromelanin in the brain, specifically in the third ventricle which is in the limbic system of the brain, which produces this cerebral spinal fluid. And what happens in the pineal gland, and what conditions are created psychologically that would bring forward sociopaths and psychopaths. Bobby E. Wright wrote a book about this. So that in our understanding what white supremacy is, we understand what brings it forward, and what brings it forward is insecurity and inferiority fueled by fear of genetic annihilation, because there will come a time on this planet, 500 years from now, give them a thousand years, peoples that we today call Europeans will not exist. 
Not because we're going to take them off, but because of the sun. The sun is going to take them off because the purpose of life comes through the sun. When you hear them say that the sun is your enemy, when you hear African people say, I am children of the sun, then you have to understand of what relationship do you have with your parents when your parent is your enemy. And that is because plants were born to be green. Humans were born to be blue to black to brown. Blue-black is the indigo color. And brown. Anything that veers from the archetype, whether it is a plant, which is called an albino plant, or a human, which is called an albino human, is not meant to survive an albino plant who work themselves off the earth, just like in time. These peoples we call human, uh, we call European human beings, they will no longer be. We have to understand this, but what, what I'm concerned about is, are we ready to assume control over our lives, if in fact we should have? And that's what I'm working for, and that's what I enjoy about.